Good day, everybody. My name is Dennis Waring, and I'm a musical instrument maker and a musician. And I am going to share with you today one of my great passions, and that is building instruments out of things that people would normally throw away. This is something that you guys could build very easily. Oh, just a piece of wood. Yeah, just a plastic container. I chopped the top off. I had the spout here. And what was the bottom of my container became the top of my banjo. And I've got a couple of old uh, uh, strings off my fishing rod for strings. Well, I was amazed just how nicely this worked. Such a simple instrument, but I could make some really good music on it. Here's a little song. You know, people used to, back in the old days, used to write a lot of songs about their dogs. And those dogs, there was usually too many dogs around. They'd always get in the way, you know, and people would joke about, ah, get out of my way, dog. And Well, here's a, supposed to be kind of a little funny song about a dog that's always in the way. It goes like this. Every time I go downtown, somebody kicks my dog around. Makes no difference if he's a hound. They gotta quit kicking my dog around. Well, me and Lynn Briggs, no Bill Brown. We took a load of corn to town. No old Jim Dog, that on rail cuss. Well, he just naturally followed us. All right, here we go. And kids, out of a five cent piece of plastic tube, I think you'll agree, I get a sweet million dollar sound. Kids, this is a very ancient sound. The sound you're going to hear goes back thousands, tens of thousands of years. So how much easier is it, if your buddy lives over there on the other island, to signal using signals about what's going on. Hey, it's time to come to dinner. Or, Let's go out and play. Rather than to get in a boat and have to row all the way over there to tell him, you just signal the, through your trumpet. This is a beautiful big sound. <laughs> That's still a sound that thrills. I'll bet you one of the first musical instruments was something like bones. But you know, when people had to slaughter an animal for their food, they did not waste anything back in those early days. They'd use the skin for their clothes or their shoes or for a drum. Uh, they'd use the meat, of course, for their sustenance. And they might use, these, these are actually cow ribs. These are right out of the cow. Well, when I was in Ireland, they used to do a kind of music called mouth music. And they would use the bones to accompany them while they made nonsense sounds with their mouth. It sounded kind of like this. Mama don't allow no spoon play in here. Let's hear those spoons. Mama don't allow no spoon play in here. Oh yeah, that's the idea. You don't care what mama don't allow, you gotta play those spoons anyhow. Mama don't allow no spoon play in here. That sounds good. Let's listen. Oh yeah. Simple things can be very effective. So even a, a simple banjo made with a stick and fishing line, even a couple of bones, a turtle shell, a couple of sticks, if you play them and use them with some imagination, with some sense of rhythm and enthusiasm, then they become something so much more than what they are in, in their basic essence. They become an expression of uh, that person's uh, feeling. Keeps keep the beat. Rub, 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 rub. Oh, that's much better.